hello students today we will write the vector form of biosolid law the scalar form we have already uh, read, read about that so let us see how we can write the vector form This is the scalar form of uh, Biot-Schwarz law, where dB is the magnetic field at a uh, magnetic power field or induction at a point. From a conductor which uh, carries a current I, the conductor can be of any shape. Okay, so it is valid for any uh, shape of conductor. So if uh, this is the current element, ideal from center to a point. So this point is P, the magnetic field here is dB. This is the position vector of the point from the element. This uh, element makes an angle of theta to draw a tangent or along the line. This line, uh, uh, the length itself is a vector. So this is a vector ideal is vector. So this angle is theta. So this theta is this theta. Now the vector form of this uh, magnetic induction at this point as we see that this uh, point uh, magnetic induction is pointing into the plane of the paper. If I hold the conductor like this, if I hold the conductor, so the current is flowing like this, if I hold the conductor in my right hand such that the thumb must be in the direction of the current, then the cord fingers will give you the direction of magnetic field. So if the conductor is like lying like this, I hold it like this, the current is in this direction, also in here, it is in this direction. I hold it like this. So this side the magnetic field will come out, and this side it will go into the plane when, where it lies. So from this side it will come out and go into this, so this cross, cross means the vector is going into, dot means it is coming out, cross means going into, this side it will be dot, this side it will be cross. So the magnetic field will come out like this and goes into this, because the current is in this direction. <coughs> now if I write the vector form, or uh, the vector product of two vectors. Suppose uh, P and Q are two vectors, then the cross product is given by P, Q, sine theta, and some unit vector. That unit vector must be perpendicular to the plane containing P and Q and has a specific direction. The unit vector must be perpendicular to the plane containing the two and given by right hand rule, the cross product rule that we have already discussed in cross product. So, <coughs> I D uh, now if I want to write there are two vectors one is your R vector and another is your ideal vectors so if I want to involve two vectors then I have to introduce uh, a relation between ideal and R if I consider ideal as one vector and R as one vector then I want to find the cross product then ideal R This I consider as P vector, this I consider as my Q vector. Then the cross product A plus B will be like this. Suppose uh, A is in this direction or P is in this direction, Q is in this direction. P cross Q will be like this. So it will be this side and Q cross P will be this side. They are not commutative. We have discussed that A cross B is not equal to B cross A. What is the negative of that? Now, to write this ideal, the two vectors involved, ideal and R, we have to introduce R if you want to write in vector form. So there is no R over here. But if I write in this way, then it will be, and I will write the result, it will be ideal R sin theta. But here only we have ideal sin theta, there is no R. So I have to multiply one R and divide one R. 
is very simple method. So if I multiply one r over here and divide one r over here, this will look like this. Okay. Now this i real r psi theta, I, I treat this as vector, this as vector, then I can write a cross b. This is a cross b vector, the magnitude of that vector. And a unit vector which is in the direction of these two vectors and perpendicular to this. That means my ideal vector is like this. As you can see from the diagram, ideal vector is like this. My R vector is like this. This is the angle theta. Ideal cross R is into. That means it is downward. Here also the magnetic field is downward because this magnetic field is the outcome of these two vectors. So that is correct. Here we are getting also downward. If I take R cross ideal, it will be upward, which is not true. Okay. So <coughs> So this side, ideal cross R vector is found to be correct by direction wise. And the you, I know the magnitude of this, that is ideal R sin theta, but then what is to convert the scalar into a vector? Its magnitude comes out to be ideal R sin theta, but you have to assign one unit vector along this direction to convert it into a vector form. Okay. So that is, let us say that u dash is the unit vector, u cap is the unit vector in that direction. So this direction, let us say that unit vector is u, u cap. Then for, to find any unit vector in a given direction, you write the vector divided by its magnitude. I write the vector that I have taken as a vector, this vector divided by the magnitude. So when magnitude is divided, it is like this. Or if I say that, if you want my point, so this uh, can be converted into this I can write as this means what if I but this in terms of magnitude that will be ideal as sin theta is perfectly matching with this. So this is how we write the vector form of this. Okay. So this is the and this is the scalar form. So this is the vector form of by symmetry. Okay. Now <coughs> The right hand rule I will uh, just uh, say here also because I don't have to go for another video for right hand rule that uh, Fleming's uh, right hand rule so if I have a conductor like this and this is how the current is flowing then the magnetic field will be around this. If I hold the conductor in my right hand, thumb in the direction of the current and call fingers will give you the direction of magnetic field. So this is how you find the magnetic field like this, concentric circles. So that is Fleming's right hand rule. If you hold the conductor in your right hand like this, thumb in the direction of the current, then call fingers gives you the direction of magnetic field. <coughs> 